the UK Africa Business Summit is what we are here for. And as the theme is, Africa is open for business. So with our open minds and one concerted effort, we will definitely get to the understanding that when we are open for business, we mean it and we'll do it. We start off and I would want to humbly ask each and every one of you to, if you can, be on your feet and we say a word of prayer silently. We pray to everything and whatever we've prayed to silently for a brief moment. ask all of you, we're here today to do business. Please network as much as you can network. Um, uh, feel free to move as you move. And later on, as we go through the session, you'll be able to, if there are people that you want to talk to on a one-on-one, -on -one, our ladies in the back in the white t-shirt, we'll be able to, we have a room reserved for any one-to-ones that you might want. So please make sure that uh, you leave here today Making, taking value and making sure that we, we network. We're here to make sure that uh, Africa achieves its potential in terms of business. And uh, we'd like to welcome and thank you all who are here today. And I know the room is going to get fuller. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Mr. Willie, please. Thank you, sir. Good morning, everyone. Namaste. My name is William Mutenza. And uh, I originally come from Uganda. I've been here for 35 years. And uh, mine is not going to be a speech. It's just a very small brief from my heart. This makes me happy seeing that you've been, this came like an idea about 25 years ago. But seeing from, from where we've been to the point now that we can have some dignitaries like you in the room just to with just one common goal to promote investment to Africa, that makes me happy. And uh, I'm really, what I want to assure you that uh, those who are not from Africa, that the time to invest in Africa is now. We are just here for this project for me, I started it with a lot of supporters as giving back to our mother Africa and we are here to give you support to those who want to come and invest, particularly in East Africa. Me, I'm from Uganda. I would love, love to if you, 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 look, you think about Uganda first before others. But we are here to give you all the support. Today, we have all the dignitaries you see in the, in the booklet there. And uh, we are here to work. They are here to do as much networking and have a one-on-one -on -one with you people. And let us try to do business. We want, by the end of the day, at least someone has benefited, Africa has benefited, and you as business people have benefited by come and do business in, in Africa. And uh, for me, my services are pro bono. Those who always want to come, especially in, in Uganda, I, I always give you my free service. Sometimes I pay for my ticket, and I guide you all the way until we make sure that you do invest in, 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 in East Africa. And one very important thing, some of the dignitaries who are here, they are not easy to, to meet in, I would say, generally in Africa. Please take your time and make sure that you really do one-on-one -on -one and engage some of, some of the people you see on, 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 on the list. I'm afraid I didn't observe any protocol, but uh, amid this task, we have 
we, we, we have the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, we have our first Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of East Africa, we, we, we have Minister of Energy, we have Minister of, Interna Minister of Internal, we have the Peers of Internal Affairs, and we have a few different ministers, as you see on the program, and make sure that you interact with, 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 with as much as you can with some of these people. And we have all the ambassadors and high commissioners from East Africa and some of, and, and some of uh, the business leaders. And, they, and they, I'm also very happy to see Mr. Sudil, Dr. Sudil. Um, maybe um, I might say I'm, I'm honored having Mr. Sudil who went back from here as a Ugandan. He went back and he became probably the richest East African. He became a billionaire in East Africa. He came today. He's not going to speak, but I think he just came to, to inspire us that I can do it. He went back over 25 years. Now he's one of the billionaires in Africa. I think everyone knows him. I'm sorry to say that, Mr. Little, but I think people should, yes. We, we have a fully, a fully sold out event, so we have people coming di different different intervals. So everyone you see we've put on the program is here. So don't worry, and we are here to help you. We have people to help you to do one-on-ones. We booked private rooms. Please make sure that we came to work. Please engage us as much as so that we see you do something back home. Otherwise, for me, I'm very honored. I'm not a speaker, and uh, for me, I will just leave to the experts to 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 take. It from me, but thank you and you are welcome.